In this video, I'll demonstrate how to read and write Arduino using USB serial communication. The materials used are an Arduino Uno with a power supply to power up Arduino, USB cable and OTG, DHT sensor to measure temperature, and humidity, and red, yellow, and green LED lights. This is the Arduino code being used. It utilizes a library to read the DHT sensor, and there are three outputs connected to red, yellow, and green LEDs. During the looping procedure, Arduino sends the DHT sensor readings to the serial port every 5 seconds, in the format of temperature value followed by a comma and humidity value. Additionally, Arduino receives serial data to turn on or off the lights. The format expected is red value, yellow value, and green value separated by commas, which controls the lights accordingly. In Kodular, there is an Arduino component available in the connectivity category. We can utilize it to connect to Arduino. In the designer, we utilize several buttons, a connection button, a red button to turn on the red light, a yellow button to turn on the yellow light, a green button to turn on the green light, and a button to disconnect the Arduino communication. Additionally, we use labels to display the temperature and humidity values. Let's take a look at the block code I've created. Firstly, I initialize several variables. Then, during screen initialization, I initialize the Arduino, and configure the baud rate. When the connect button is pressed, it attempts to establish a connection with the Arduino. If the close button is pressed, it will close the connection to the Arduino. For the red, yellow, and green buttons, each one toggles a variable value and writes data to control the LEDs to the Arduino. Then, on a timer set to trigger every one second, it executes a command to read from the Arduino, retrieving data sent from it, and displays this data on the temperature and humidity labels. Let's try testing using the Kodular Companion. In this test, we were able to establish a connection to the Arduino and successfully send data to control the red, yellow, and green lights. However, we encountered an issue where we couldn't retrieve the temperature and humidity values sent from the Arduino. I'm not sure if there's something wrong with the block code, or if reading from the Arduino serial communication using the Arduino component is challenging. Alright, let's leave the Arduino component behind, and try using an alternative extension called Serial OTG extension to communicate with Arduino via Serial. Firstly, please download the X file format from its GitHub repository. Next, import the Serial OTG extension. After importing the serial OTG extension and it's ready to use, let's set up the baud rate first. By default, it's set to 9600. Now, let's take a look at the block code, using the same concept as the previous one that utilized the Arduino component. The important things of this code lies in three buttons, red, yellow, and green. When pressed, they write data to the Arduino to control the LEDs. Additionally, there's a timer set to trigger every second to read the values sent by the Arduino. These readings are then displayed on the temperature and humidity labels. Let's try testing using the Kodular Companion.
we can see that the application successfully establishes a connection to the Arduino. The temperature and humidity values appear on their respective labels, indicating that the Android device can read the values sent by the Arduino. Furthermore, writing data works seamlessly, as the Android device can send data to the Arduino to control the red, yellow, and green LEDs. In conclusion, by utilizing the Serial OTG extension, we can effectively read data from the Arduino and write data to the Arduino, which seems to be more efficient compared to using the Arduino component we used previously. Thank you for watching the video. I've shared all the files used in this video, and you can find the link in the video description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Your support means a lot. If you'd like to further support this channel, you can send a super thanks. See you in the next video.